All right, everybody. I uh, I was talking this weekend to a friend, and they were telling me about a deal uh, that that their family member was in, and it just made me cringe for like any number of reasons. There's enough video material to go over. There's enough content to go over for like four videos. But I wanted to start off with something that um, I don't know that it's it's obvious, um, but with all the people that I've worked with in in the last. I don't know, 10 years now, um, you start figuring things out just because there's like a pattern. And one of the things that I wanted to say is that it's okay if you can't afford to buy a house at a particular time. Like if you go out and, you, and you're looking at houses with your, your agent and like nothing is working, like the things that you want and the things that you can actually have aren't working, I think you're better off waiting. And I know that flies in the face of, of, of so much commentary on the internet. Um, like, even if you look at the past four years, you know, house prices are up 50% in most places. I mean, it's, it's, it's not the greatest thing to wait, but it is if you, if you can't afford what, what you want. And I just, I think the start of the problems with the, the deal I was hearing about was, they felt pressured to buy something now and they didn't have the money for it. And so when they got into that situation, they started looking for things that were not great houses in the first place. And I think that happens a lot. Uh, you have to ask yourself, if you don't see anything on the market that's what you can afford, like maybe it's it's the price. I mean, it, it's, it's not great, but I, I think people get sucked into this. They're like, we're having an event in our lives. We're getting married. We're, you know, we're having kids. We're doing something. We got a new job and, and we're really, we're really setting off. And then they go look for stuff and maybe the finances haven't caught up with them yet. And so now they're, they're looking at stuff and they're like, I don't really like anything. And, and that's where I, I think a, a decent agent would come in and say, look, like, let's just, let's just call off the search for a little while, get your, get, get a little bit stronger financing in order and, um, get back out there. Whereas a bad agent would be like, we just need to buy something. We need to buy, buy something tomorrow. Um, that normally gets you in a bad spot. That normally gets you a house that you're not gonna enjoy, that you're not gonna spend any time in, and immediately regret the day that you purchase it. So that's just one thing I wanted to mention. I know it's, it's crazy with house prices right now. So many experts said that when the mortgage rates come down again, that there's going to be this jump. All these buyers are just going to jump in the marketplace and everything's going to be wonderful. And that never did make any sense to me. Um, house prices, like I said, have gone up 50% in four years. Uh, you're going to have to do an awful lot to be able to afford a home now. Um, so maybe the best plan is to wait. Just think about it. I mean, again, if you're not seeing something that you want, um, you should be able to see like three or four houses every weekend that fit exactly the criteria that you're looking for. If you're not, then it's probably a, uh, a finance issue. And, and I mean, it usually works out. Like I'll meet somebody maybe in one year. Okay. And they'll say, the, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to the mortgage people and they might be able to afford like a $200,000 house. And, and they want a three bedroom, two bath home in St. Louis. You're going to have a tough time below 200 right now. Uh, and so then, you know, after about a year, look back again, you know, now all of a sudden they can afford more. They've, they've made changes to their uh, their finances that it now looks like they can buy a better house and one more suited to them. So it happens. Um, just be patient. Uh, don't feel like you're ever forced to buy something that you wouldn't otherwise purchase. With that, I'm going to head out. Thank you for watching. I will catch you later.